As artificial intelligence begins to reshape everything from schoolwork to art, it's poised to transform your visit to the doctor, too. I can attach the smartphone here oh, wow. and then capture a picture. You can see how... In Stanford's dermatology clinic, doctors are testing new AI technology that can help spot skin cancer. In a future iteration of this, it would, in theory, give you back a result pretty quickly? Exactly, within seconds. The technology is already in use in the UK, where its maker, Skin Analytics, mm -hmm. says it has detected 99% of the cancers it's seen in the last year. In the U.S., it's now awaiting FDA approval. Dr. Roberto Novoa, who is testing the system at Stanford, points out the need for something like this is enormous. Across the country, there are extremely long wait periods for dermatologists ranging from three months to six months, seven months. And so in theory, there is tremendous need for either more dermatologists or, in this case, maybe a technology that, that helps fill in for the lack of them. We see thousands of cases in a year, and it's always in the back of my mind, what am I missing? But but Dr. Novoa says it's not clear yet whether we can trust this system in all cases. I want to see it on a variety of different skin types. We have good evidence showing that these algorithms can underperform in skin of color. They might miss cancer in a non-white patient. Exactly. A work in progress in some clinics, but the rush to work AI into medical care is on. At the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida, an AI algorithm analyzes CAT scan images and points doctors to the trouble spots in the brains of stroke victims. This CAT scan and automated AI technology will show you exactly that map of brain area at risk down to the pixel uh, level. Dr. David Freeman says it saved time and brain cells for 28-year-old Raymond Rowe, who came in unable to move one side of his body. What the AI was able to do with the CAT scan information is very rapidly save at least 15 minutes of time and to equate that for every minute in stroke, it's 1.9 million neurons lost per minute. Raymond is now fully recovered thanks to that quick treatment. I have a lot more appreciation towards them and a lot more trust in technology now because if, if you would have told me if I never had a stroke, you would have told me you're going to let AI work on you, my answer is like no. At Cincinnati Children's Hospital, AI predicts signs of mental crisis in young people. And researchers at the Mayo Clinic use AI to detect early signs of heart failure using an electrocardiogram on an Apple Watch. But while AI could make all sorts of medical breakthroughs possible, there's a lot of misinformation you got to watch out for. ChatGPT often makes things up, even though it sounds like an expert. Even the researchers at the cutting edge of AI technology say it is still a tool, not a replacement for human medical expertise. I don't see this technology replacing doctors. Really the great power in this is we're helping augment their abilities naturally to help the patient. Now, when we speak to doctors about this, they say that there is, of course, the long-term risk that we might, you know, lose our skills over time as we hand them over to AI. But at this point, the American Medical Association estimates that there's like 77,000 openings across specialties. Jeez. We're going to need a lot more doctors. Maybe AI can fill in for the gaps that we have right now. All right. Thanks, Thanks Jake. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.